complicated and the discard number becomes important. See how this thing right there is shifted over? You know, let's say you're adding, um, you know, I don't know, like one million plus a million, you know, and you've only got a certain amount of bit uh, of bits, you know, and it's not going to take two million. You know, basically you're adding those together. And those bits are carrying over into a region that you don't have space for. So when there's an overflow error, again, it's exceeded the number of bits allocated and the discard becomes important. Um, so that's when you might have to go to a double precision number, basically giving it more space for the number. Okay, so we talked about addition and subtraction. Let's take uh, let's take a quick look at multiplication and division, how those are done with an adder. So multiplication, um, you know, just a real simple example, three times eight. This times quite literally means eight added together three times, which we all know is 24. Okay, so you can do that. Um, in uh, in binary too, you know that's that's what computers excel in very boring tasks. So um, nine times six, you know you're adding nine plus nine plus nine plus nine plus nine plus one two three four six yeah plus nine. So you can just keep on adding nine six times. So that's a that's an easy way to do it. Computers excel in doing that. Um, there's another way of doing this is called the partial products. Um, you know, partial products needs so that's that's direct addition. That's this method here. Um, partial products. Partial products. What that is. Um, Let's do this. This is a tricky example. Nine times negative six. Okay. You know, plus times a plus is a plus. Plus times negative, negative times plus, negative times negative. Negative, negative, positive. Okay. So anytime the signs are different, they're negative. Okay. So we know that nine plus nine times negative six we know the answer is going to be negative. So what you need to do is take that into account. Do this. We were talking about two's complement for addition and subtraction. OK, for multiplication, they need to be in true form. So you're given, and remember, we're going to use the two's complement here. So. You're given those two numbers and you're told to multiply them. Okay, what is this? That's the two's complement representation of negative six. So you need to convert it to its true form. True form of six is going to be one, two, three, four, five, one, one, zero. Okay, so that's the true representation of it. And now what you're going to do, because you've already taken this plus and minus. You already know that they're different, and you know that it's going to be a negative answer. So you're keeping that in, the, in your pocket. Now what you're going to do is the 2, 3, 4, 1. Just what we did um, in one of our earlier lectures. Whoops, sorry guys. Do the partial products of this and add it up. So we start off with 0. So everything's 0 there. Now we multiply times 1. We're moving in this column now. So it's 1, 0, 0, 1. Now we're in this column. Now we're in this column. We're back to our zeros. And so on and so forth. And what you're going to get you're going to add them up. Remember, you're using your adders. 0, 1, 1, 0. 1, 1. 0, 0, 0. On and on and on. And you know that this is, and then the final carry bit is going to be 1. Excuse me. 
this this right here is you've already known you already know that it's going to be a negative answer so this right here is representing as 54 but you know it's negative so you need to take the two's complement of this so it's going to be one 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 zero zero one zero one zero which is the two's complement representation of negative 54. Okay, so again, you're using adders to do this in both methods, direct addition and the partial products. And partial products, you need to represent the, a uh, number in its true form to do so. Okay, let's talk about division and how you can use an adder to perform division. Okay, we discussed adders using a negative number expressed in two's complement form to perform subtraction. That's exactly what division is. It's success, successive subtractions of the divisor from the dividend. The number of times you subtract it is your answer. Okay, So 12 divided by 4. That's quite literally 12 minus 4. 8 minus 4 is 4. Minus 4 is 0. We've gotten all the way down to the answer. So how many times did you subtract 4? Once, twice, three times, remainder zero. So your answer is three. So how many times do you subtract it? That's, that's what division is. So let's just, well, let's use 12 and four, for, exa for, for example. So one, two, three, four, one, one, zero, zero. That's 12, the binary representation of 12. And then let's do Binary representation of 4, just subtract it. So how do you do it? You convert this guy into its 2's complement version. Because remember, you're subtracting. So what is the 2's complement representation of 4? First off, let me draw 12 real quick. What's the 2's complement representation? 2's of negative 4? Well, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 1's. That is the two's complement representation of four of negative four. Then you subtract them. What's your answer there? You get. And again, you're going to subtract another four. Well, what is this? That's eight. Subtract four, i.e., add negative four. What do you get? You're going to get. This guy, which is 4, and again, subtract your, or add, in this case, your 2's complement representation of 4. Sorry about that. Oh, by the way, remember there's a, There's a, you know, you're going to discard your last carry bit for these cases because remember we're we're doing addition of a negative number, addition of the two's complement repre representation of that number, and finally you're going to get zero with another carry bit of one, which you've discarded. So you've gotten to a remainder of zero. How many times did you do it? You did it once, twice, three times. Your answer is one one zero 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 or three. Okay, so all you need to you don't need to know the specific machinations of how to I uh, how to divide or multiply or subtract. Um, actually, you just should know how to add and subtract using uh, the two's complement representation of negative numbers. But I did want to highlight right here um, how multiplication, division, subtraction, and addition all use adders using the two's complement representation of numbers. That's the take home point. Okay, we are gonna finish up chapter two with a just quick, super quick discussion of hex, octal, and some of the codes, and then we are moving on to chapter three.